first tuning we're going to use on, our, on this instrument is the D major tuning. Now in Finland, uh, G is often used as well, but, but the D major is very good for playing with other instruments and it sounds very nice. The lowest note is tuned to D. Next note, E. The next note, F sharp. Next note, G. And the highest note is tuned to A. Now, there are different ways of tuning in. Um, you can use a piano or a keyboard, or you can use the MP3 that I provide from my website um, with the sound file on it. Uh, alternatively, what I found sometimes useful is I always have a tin whistle on me. Um, tin whistles, they come in lots of different keys, but the main one is actually the key of D, used in Irish music and folk music in general. Now the lowest note on here, which is with all the finger holes closed, this acts like a pitch pipe. This is, this is, this is the note D. Now what you need to do is to tune the lowest note of your cantilever to the same note. When you're using the tuning key, uh, you insert the key and you pluck the string as you, as you turn. Now just detuning it, so as an example. That's just a bit sharp. Okay. Now there are sometimes you have to, when you with the new strings, you may have to stretch them a little bit while you're tuning. But once you've tuned it in, um, they tend to keep their tuning and keep their relative tuning to each other, which is quite handy. Okay, that's the first note. Now the next note. Now that note is just a little bit sharp, so I'm just going to... And the next one. And the next one. To play chords on the cantilever, you damp the strings on, with the left hand and strum with the right hand, either using the plectrum or your fingertips, or if you have them, fingernails. The sound you make with the plectrum is the loudest, and the fingertips are probably the softest. The first chord we're going to play is the chord of D. To play the chord of D, we place one finger on the G string, one finger on the E string. Um, when you press, you don't, you're not actually pressing down at all, you're just touching it very lightly, so that if you were to pluck the string, it would make a dud sound. Now, try to keep your hand in this higher region over here. Uh, if you play, keep your fingers in the middle, sometimes you accidentally play the harmonics. Which you don't want to do at this stage when you're playing. Okay, so, fingers on, that's your D chord, now the next chord will be the chord of G, thumb on the highest note, and two fingers here, and then the A chord, and then to return we come back to the D chord. Now there are many songs that you can get through with just playing those three chords. Wide. I can 
And both shall go. 